I heard her wheezing. Hopefully like it doesn't move while I'm driving. We made it to the vet hospital. We are outside of the vet hospital. She looks a little stressed out, honestly, because she's not moving much. I want all three. Ooh, Ashley. Hey, ooh, Ashley. Hey. Hey y'all, it's your girl Shay Shay back with another video. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ashley. And also if you're new here, her name is Aphrodite. And as you can see by the title of the video today, unfortunately, I think that my baby girl might be sick. A couple days ago, maybe like on Monday, it's Friday now, I heard her wheezing. This concerned me a lot because I know that's like a symptom for an RI infection. I'm not gonna lie, um, I've been a little bit too scared to like open her mouth to look inside, but I have been checking on her every day. I have been looking like on the sides of her mouth to make sure she doesn't have any bubbles, but I'm able to hold her head down. And then when I try to open her mouth, she keeps like struggling and pulling away. So I'm just going to be honest with you guys. I've been like a little bit too scared to check inside her mouth. So I haven't done that. But I also do want to be very transparent and honest. It has been a couple months since I cleaned her enclosure. And I know that is a really bad thing to do. I just want to be open and honest with you to like let you know what led up to her. To her possibly being sick. I pulled her out one day and she was wheezing. And I was really concerned because she has never wheezed before. A snake of this size, I should not be able to hear her breathe. Also, that is a symptom of an RI infection in snakes. So as soon as I heard her wheezing, I instantly cleaned her cage and I have measures in place to start cleaning her enclosure once a month, feeding her more regularly, and just taking overall better care for her because that really scared me, honestly. I love my snakes so much, but with the stress of life, I've just kind of like forgotten about her a little bit, but I'm on a regimen this year, 2021, to take better care of her and I'm definitely going to do that. I'm not gonna let her care slide anymore and honestly, that was a huge mistake on my part because now I'm kind of scared for her but I do have a vet appointment I set the appointment on Monday the closest one they had was Friday so I'll be taking her in a couple hours and I'll be doing like a kind of vlog style little visit with her I've never taken her anywhere like in the car the only time she's been in my car is when I first got her when I took her home but since then I have never taken her in my car so this is gonna be very interesting I'm gonna do like a little vlog style for you guys the vet clinic that I'm going to is apparently too small for anyone to go inside so everything has to be over the phone. So I'm really nervous about that because I'm not gonna be able to see everything that's going on, but the doctor is gonna call me on the phone and check on her. I do wanna say that a couple days ago she did eat, so it's making me feel like maybe she's not sick and I'm just like overthinking and overreacting. I just rather be safe than sorry and get her checked up now and you know, if there is something wrong with her then I'll be able to get that checked on right now. And also it does seem like she stopped wheezing so I think all of the things that I did actually helped her, maybe it slowed down the symptoms. I don't know exactly what's wrong with her but I am gonna make sure to take her to the vet still today and we're going to just get a little checkup, maybe even see her real gender because if you watched my, um, my very first snake video, when I bought her I don't know her gender I just kind of guessed based on the way that her tail looks I think she's a female if she's a boy I'm gonna be upset but I'm not gonna change her name she's still gonna be Aphrodite and she's still gonna be she because we love her and she's iconic but yeah I'll update you guys when it's time to put her in the car and also when we get to the vet clinic everything is gonna be on the phone and I film on my phone so it may be a little bit limited, but I'll try to do the best that I can to keep you guys updated. And hopefully, fingers crossed, my child is not sick. Pray for me, guys, and I'll update you in a little bit. I just poked some holes in this lid right here, and I also put a paper towel down. I'm gonna put her in this. It's kind of big. I am gonna put her in this, and then hopefully I'm gonna get like a bag that I can attach to my seat. Here she is. Typically, I would hold her with two hands, but because I'm recording, I'm gonna do it like this. This is a little big. I wish I would have had something smaller but this is honestly all I had I'm gonna put this top on her so she's in here and I'm also gonna put her in this bag just so I can like hook this onto my seat in the car and hopefully it won't move around and also it'll make it a little darker for her I'm not really gonna be able to do this on camera but I'm just gonna put this in that bag update it doesn't fit in the bag so I genuinely have no idea what I'm gonna do I have a 30 minute drive so I'm low-key scared because this box is really big and I feel like she can like move around in this so I am so sorry child okay guys so this is what I decided to do I put like some 10 pound weights on the side of her hopefully like it doesn't move while I'm driving the only thing about this is, is she's in the back seat so I'm not really gonna be able to see her in the front I just thought it would be less movement if I did it back here I don't know if I want to keep her back here because I want to be able to like 
see what's going on so I may just move her to the front okay I moved her to the front seat I really hope that this works I'm so sorry Aphrodite because I really don't know what I'm doing but hopefully she does not move around while I'm driving because it's a 30 minute drive we made it to the vet hospital. Our little situation worked out so well. She didn't move around. Her crate didn't move around. She did move around while she was in there and she has been trying to get out. For the most part, everything's good. She's still here. I made it finally and we're about to go through with the appointment. Another update since they haven't came to get her yet, but we are outside of the vet hospital and I just wanted to let her breathe a little bit cause she was in that box. But yeah, she's doing really well. She doesn't seem to be too shaken up or scared, which I'm really happy about. So yeah, we're about to go through with the appointment and I'll check in with you guys a little bit later as well. They just had me fill out some forms in my car. Because of coronavirus, I can't really go in there with her or do any of that. So I'm kind of sad about that. But yeah, I will update you guys again later. Okay, guys, here she is. She looks a little stressed out, honestly, because she's not moving much. And I feel so bad for putting her through that. But they said that she is okay, that her lungs look really good, and that she's also a really good weight. And she's doing really good. They said she's okay, and they actually did probe her. I I feel so bad for putting her through all this but she is indeed a female i thought so because of her tail but yeah she's perfectly fine everything's good with her i'm happy that i came to get her checked out you know just to make sure so i'm really happy that she's okay and i'm just gonna leave her alone and go back home i'm gonna show you guys how exactly i set everything up last time so basically i have these weights on the floor i'm gonna push her all the way um to the corner basically put the weight on her on both sides just so she's not like moving around while i'm driving on the freeway and stuff and this honestly had her pretty much set on the way here so i think it'll be fine on the way back as well i'm just gonna make sure everything is secure i can't wait to put her back in her enclosure so she can like calm down because i know she's probably stressed out she probably had a bunch of people touching her and she just got probed so she's being such a good girl she's healthy and she's well and i'm very happy for her so i'm gonna be on my way home and i'll show me putting her back in her enclosure when i get there here she is we have made it home i'm gonna wash my hands and put her back into her enclosure i'm so happy that she is nice and healthy she's really heavy so that is why the box is like literally quavering because i can barely hold it up so i'm gonna go inside and put her back in her closure so she could not be stressed out anymore for the day. I know I'm supposed to grab her with two hands. Here's Miss Afra. safe and secure you could probably like see me <laughs> in the reflection here but i'm so happy that she's healthy i've said that a million times but like i'm genuinely so happy that she's healthy and it was worth getting her checked up just to make sure everything was okay with her i'll update you guys in a couple days just so you can see her again i didn't want to stress her out too much and she's been through enough today she went through about 40 minutes total in a car ride she went to the vet got pro and checked up i don't know exactly what they did because like i said i wasn't able to see but she's going through a lot today to say the least so i'm definitely gonna leave her alone and I'll update you guys again maybe tomorrow or in a couple days. Hey y'all so it's actually about a week or two after I took Aphrodite to the vet. She is 100% healthy. The vet did say that everything looks good. They said that her lungs look really good, that there's no signs of infection and also a really cool thing that I probably already mentioned earlier in the video. We did get 100% confirmation that Aphrodite is a female so we don't have to change her name. Honestly if she wasn't a female she was still gonna be Aphrodite because that is her name and that is who she is. The vet did say that she was perfectly healthy, that her lungs looked really good and that she was an overall very healthy snake. She did mention that it's really good to get your snake checked up at least once a year just to make sure everything is okay. I was really nervous because I heard her wheezing a lot. Honestly, I just put her up to my ear and she's wheezing again.
honestly right now she's wheezing again and that scares me a lot but she doesn't have any other signs of RI infections and like I said the vet did say that she was healthy this was literally maybe a week or two ago and she's been eating she's been doing fine I'm not completely sure what the wheezing is if anybody does have any ideas of what it could be comment down below just to help me out because I am literally a scared snake mom I have no idea what's going on with her honestly I just hope that she's okay and she does appear to be very healthy she's eating on a regular basis and she's just doing her own thing she's being really good she's not really showing signs of a sick snake but the wheezing is really scaring me I haven't heard it in a while but she is definitely wheezing again so I am not completely sure what's going on with her but hopefully she's okay everybody send your love and wish her well in the comments hopefully she is okay and the wheezing is just something that she does if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel down below because it really helps me out and without further ado i'll see you in the next one bye